Now, Southeast Asian leaders have gathered in Thailand to discuss a Chinese drafted free trade deal. The theme for this year's summit is advancing partnerships for sustainability. Up for discussion will be the dispute over the South China Sea, Myanmar's treatment of Rohingya Muslims and marine pollution. The 34th Summit of Association of Southeast Asian Nations is taking place in Bangkok. For more on this, we are joined by Dr. Piti Sri Sangnam, Assistant Professor at Shukla Longkorn University. Thank you for having us. This year's ASEAN Summit comes amid an escalating trade war between the United States and China. So do you see ASEAN member nations stand to gain or lose because of the standoff between the world's two largest economies? I think ASEAN is very, very important because among the global strategies of Indo-Pacific, right? Uh, geographical locations of ASEAN, it's located between that two oceans, Indian Oceans and Pacific Oceans. But uh, not only the geographical significance, as well, but the most important thing right now, it's about geopolitics and geoeconomics. Um, since the China, like you already said, it's, it's expand its uh, economy in France from the north, right? Uh, try very hard to connect uh, Africa continent, Asia continent and Europe uh, in order to allow China to access to the new market and new source of natural resources as well as labor, uh, uh, a labor pool of labor. We are the global project, so-called Belt and Road Initiative. And of course, uh, via these uh, tools, China tends to be the number one of the countries that can set up the global uh, order. Hence, the US, who used to be the number one in this global order, cannot allow it to happen. That's why we see uh, US try so hard to contain this influence expansions of China. That's why in terms of geopolitics and geoeconomics, ASEAN not only located um, between Indo and Pacific, but also located between China in France and US in France as well. Right now, Dr. PT, tensions between the United States and China are again building over Taiwan and the South China Sea territorial dispute. So how do you expect the ASEAN leaders to respond? Um, I, I, I don't think uh, we put the agendas of South China Sea into this ASEAN summit this year, but we did talk a lot about Indo-Pacific outlook because uh, right now the conflict between ASEAN members and, and China uh, on the issues of uh, South China Sea seems to be, you know, cooling down. There will be only Vietnam that still have a little bit conflict with China in this area, but it seems like for the Philippines, who used to, you know, uh, when, when they changed the when they changed the president from Benino Aquino to Duterte, uh, the situation seems to be better when Duterte agree with the China that it would be better if both of them, you know, uh, utilize the natural resources in this area together instead of, you know, competing each other. And Dr. Piti, at last year's ASEAN summit, Malaysia's Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad castigated Myanmar over human rights abuses against Rohingya Muslims. So do you expect the issue to figure prominently during this weekend summit? Um, you know, ASEAN stayed together for 52 years because we have one principle with it, uh, we will not interfere our neighboring domestic affairs. Um, but this is not a fixed rule. Sometimes if that leaders, the leaders of states of the country with the problems uh, invite or ask ASEAN for help or ask ASEAN for corporations to find a solution for that issues, we help each other. For example, during the 90s, um, President Wahib of Indonesia asked ASEAN leaders to come up with a solution for Timor. And of course, uh, during the Nike tornado that collapsed the southern part of Myanmar, Myanmar leaders, ASEAN secretary, and of course, uh, leaders of ASEAN helping each other. And the situations in South Lower Myanmar seems to be better after that uh, tornado Nike. But for the issues of Rohingya or Bengali, this is the very, very untouchable area of ASEAN. And of course, since, uh, uh, since Myanmar leaders will not act or for the you know corporations or help from ASEAN so we cannot touch on these issues but we can expect that even we cannot put it in the main agendas for summit but normally the leaders always you know talk 
on these serious issues, but you know, in officially we call it ASEAN Way. Maybe they have a sideline meeting during lunch break, sideline meeting during coffee breaks. But at least I think the 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 times is very very good for ASEAN to take it serious about these issues. All right, that was Dr. Sri Sangam giving us the latest updates of the ASEAN.